What's up guys? Welcome. We're going to do a quick tutorial on how to create an emblem out of a picture using Fusion 360. So basically what I did, I imported it by inserting an image and now I'm going to calibrate it to uh, actual size. I set it to 5 inches. And then I'm just going to show you what it looks like if I disappear with the image. I'm going to create a full box around the entire emblem. I'm just going to put it at a 0.10 of an inch. And we're going to create another box for the top half that's actually um, sticking out. We're going to create a second box just below. Give me an idea without the picture. And then what we're going to do is sketch and trace out the Chevy symbol. Now this is just a straight line sketch. We're gonna do two of these, and then we are going to extrude it or pull it so it's raised off the surface. We're just trying to get the lines as even as possible. Now that we got that, we'll finish the sketch. Throw it in the 3D view. We're gonna pull it up and just do a 0.10. And it's kind of raised. Right, next we're gonna work on <clears throat> uh, the lettering. For this, we're gonna have to do a a shell because it's kind of indented and then you create your side thickness and it automatically puts it down to the depth of the flatness so you can see here it's kind of indented in and next we're going to do sketching using straight line along with the three point arc curve so do all our lines first Right click, hit OK. We're going to use the three arc to make it as smooth as possible. 3D it. We're going to do a pull on that so it's extruded out. This way, when you hide the image and it's printed, you actually can see it. Now we're going to work on the zero. This one's a little bit tough trying to do the edges uh, so I use the three arc curve uh, as much as possible it's not gonna be perfect but it will be uh, pretty close uh, there's multiple ways to do this you can create one side and do a center line and then mirror it so that it's they're completely identical um, I didn't do that um, I'm still learning the software myself and this way works for me in manually doing it and learning it I consider that as a shortcut easy way to do it for mirroring so we're going to connect the arches all together and we're going to work on the inside. I do make a couple mistakes. <clears throat> the easiest way is to just hit back to clear it out and then recreate it.
No, that one did not come out right. And now we're going to just connect the lines. And we're going to throw this into the home 3D position. And uh, pull, extrude this up to match the one. And now we have pretty much baseline and then all we have to do is the outside box kind of give it that lip so we're going to sketch this out we're gonna do two sketches just on the inside and we're gonna follow the exact outline of it throw this in a 3D view after you finish the sketch you should be able to pull extrude that up and then you are complete thanks for watching make sure you like subscribe and hit the notification bells for future drawings